Hey, hey, my name is Marcus, and if you're watching this, then you I'm betting you've probably watched some of my Java 2D game programming videos. So early this pandemic, I decided I wanted to learn more about game programming, and I did them in this sort of guide tutorial fashion so that I'd have a bigger incentive to do it and so that also maybe more people could learn. So that has been a lot of fun. But lately, I've set my sights higher. So I decided I wanted to learn some 3D game programming. And I've been doing this for about two weeks now. I've started watching Thin Matrix's videos and I've been reading up a lot on learnopengl.com that are great resources. So I've started learning lightweight Java game library and OpenGL. So I just sort of wanted to share with you guys what I've gotten so far. And it's not a whole lot, but there you go. If you've seen my 2D videos, you probably recognize these character models because they're the ones that we use. And I've just loaded in a tree. So this has actually been a long way to get here. Even though it might look a little basic, there's been so many things that you need to learn that I've never had to learn before and that I've never really come in contact with things such as you know, quaternions. I had never even heard of that before. And I mean, I've heard about matrices and stuff like that, but let me tell you, I come from, well, not very much of an engineering background. So at school, I studied music and languages and those types of things. So not a whole lot of math, not a whole lot of math at all. Um, math was opted out in order to have time for more music. Unfortunately, today, uh, it doesn't mean that you can't learn it or that I can't learn it. But there is a great challenge and I don't want to spend months learning everything I need all up until this point. There's just so much that I don't have. But luckily, there are great libraries. So there are math libraries that you can use that have quaternion classes, which contain most of the hard math. You still need to learn a lot of things and you still need to know sort of how to use it, but you don't need to know every detail. And that's important. That means that everyone can do it. I could do it, even though I understood basically nothing. Yeah, when you try to read those uh, formulas and stuff like that, uh, I just don't even know math notation. So there's just, there are so many things that I need to start with before I can really understand everything fully. But it didn't stop me from getting here. So here you have it. We have a 3D scene. We have our characters. We have a directional light and a shadow map. So... All of these things have been very fun and difficult to learn. Like, what is a shader? How do shaders work? What does their language syntax look like? GLSL. And how do you pass information from your program using the API that Lightweight Java Game Library exposes to us and the Open OpenGL API? How do you pass stuff to these shaders or to the graphics card so that it can use it? Like all of these things. But it's been so much fun. Uh, so I am hoping that eventually, if I learn this well enough, we could maybe do like a isobubbler 3D or I don't know, some other game that isn't too complicated. Uh, that would be a lot of fun. Also, currently, as you can see, all of these models are hooked up to my key input. So they're just initialized with different positions and rotations in the world. 
and then they all respond to my key inputs currently. But yeah, so this is a lot of fun. Just wanted to share with you guys. All right, I think that's it. I will see you soon. Hey, Doa.